Hey guys, this is Rami, and on this episode of Marble Chats, I'm with Chris, Ali, and Mike. We're at San Luis Obispo Salsa Exchange, and we talked about how we got involved in the college scene, what benefits we got by being involved in the college scene, and what we are most excited about in the college scene. Hope you guys enjoy. dancing um, salsa at Cal Poly, mm -hmm. at the Cal Poly Salsa Club, that's what it's called. Yeah. <laughs> and um, I knew pretty much day one that I wanted yeah. to dance and like at the club fair, like before school had started, I went and I looked for all the dance clubs and I like assessed all my options and I joined a couple my first year. Mm -hmm. uh, it was it was a lot, but it was fun. I've been dancing, oh gosh, when I went to Cal Poly, I danced like four days a week. Like, it was so fun. There was <laughs> dance everywhere. You could go ballroom dancing, you could go salsa dancing. I danced, I was a dance player, so I did jazz. Oh, nice. I love, I love the college dancing. It's so fun. Um, now I am at UC Santa Cruz as a graduate student, mm -hmm. and um, the salsa dance scene there is mostly in the community. So um, their club is like a performance group rather than like a social dancing group. Um, so I probably will join it eventually, but I haven't really yet, but I still come back to Cal Poly every now and again. <laughs> <laughs> nice, nice. And how about you, Mike? Um, yeah, I'd say I'm, I would be, uh, I'm not necessarily a part of these clubs, but I associate with them a lot. Um, for Sac State, uh, there's Salsa Club, uh, Salsa Loca. Um, I know a lot of people in there. I've never actually been in the club, but um, I know about them. I go to their events. Um, they do host a lot of uh, awesome events too. So, um, like, was it Saison? Saison's one of them. You know, that's a really fun event. Um, and then I know a lot of people that are at UC Davis too. And they, they um, was it Baile de Fuego? And awesome, awesome group of people. Like, it's just a, it's both Sac State's club and UC Davis's club often, often like in the same places all the time. I involve myself with them. When I first um, started teaching, and it was with Salsa Loca at Sac State. And that's pretty much what started everything with being able to know them more and be more involved with what they're doing in their events as well. The way I got involved in the college dance scene was um, I, as a freshman, I went to Sacramento State, and um, uh, I found out that there was a salsa club, Salsa Loca, from a friend of mine. Uh, you may have seen him before on the show, Jay Bear, or Bear, or Juanito. <laughs> uh, he actually recruited me. We were at an event non-related to dance. He, he was like, hey, yeah, salsa look. And I was like, man, I want to learn salsa. And then I went to the club. Ever since then, kind of like how you started, it was just non-stop, right? Like, I was like, I ate, slept, and drank salsa loca. Yeah, once it gets yeah. into your soul, You're like, it doesn't go away. What am away. I doing next for it, right? Like, yeah. I was like, am I going to skip class today to go salsa loca? No! Right? <laughs> no! The oh. nerd in me is like, don't skip class. But that's a good reason, too. Yeah. Yeah. Call it sick. <laughs> Just call it sick. We all have some type of relationship with a college uh, club or in the college scene. Um, how, how did we really like get involved? Like, Chris, you told me earlier you got involved by teaching. Like, how yeah. did, what, um, what did you teach and like, how did they even reach out to you? Uh, first person that reached out to me was actually a junior and uh, Brianna Perini. They, out of the blue, just asked me, hey, do you, would you like to teach a bachata lesson? That's the first involvement I ever had with Salsa Loca. And My first involvement with Salsa Loca would probably be I performed um, at one of their their socials a uh, long time ago. I think it was like 2011, 2012. Um, it's 2017, by the way. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, so like we, we performed there, and they, that's kind of when I found out that it even existed. I'm mm -hmm. like, oh, yeah, I had a salsa club in high school. It was very small, you know, and this one it was a lot bigger than I've ever seen. You had a salsa club in high school? Yeah, it was, it was more... cool high school. <laughs> yeah, it was, it was really fun. It was a really close group of friends, and... Mm -hmm. and you know, it's a great uh, teacher that was also taking classes, um, so he would teach it to us, and, and it'd be awesome. But our first performance was was at Salsa Loca there, and it was just it was fun. It was it was uh, different, a lot of different uh, crowds. I wasn't used to being in the college 
uh, scene, like a, like in a big college area. So I thought it was really cool seeing that little area that the club is at. I'm like, there's a food court here. <laughs> when you got involved, because you told me you were doing dancing four times a day, and you were hitting up all the clubs. What were you doing with the clubs? So I. My first like two years, I was really involved with Cal Poly Ballroom Club, and so I was um, taking lessons and uh, competing in um, like Waltz Tango Foxtrot, oh, those sort of things. We gotta take lessons from you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Can I get Waltz from you? <laughs> this is Waltz. That's all. I know a me. lot okay. of different styles of dance. I could, yeah, I could teach you any of those. Um, <laughs> so I did that, and I was teaching a little bit. I also, I then became president for a year um, <laughs> as a sophomore. <laughs> hey, <laughs> uh, okay, uh, okay. Yeah. Big deal. It was, it was rough, <laughs> but it was fun. Um, yeah. But then after that, I wanted something more low key and that's when I started, I had been going to salsa mm -hmm. during all that time, but I started to really focus it on, on it my junior and senior year because um, it's just so fun. It's so relaxed. You just walk in circles. I love dancing salsa. It's the best. <laughs> I actually was kind of similar to you mm -hmm. that I became the president of Salsa Loca. Uh, and I was a sophomore president. too. President! Hey. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> but but oh. before I got to that part... These, uh, these guys. <laughs> <laughs> like, I joined it and I was like, hey, I want to be involved. Mm -hmm. And then they're like, okay, you are our communication manager. Mm -hmm. and I was a freshman, I was like, what the hell does that mean? <laughs> <laughs> well, you need to communicate that And then, that and then they're, like, they're like, all right, you send out all the emails to our hundreds of uh, people on our email list. Mm -hmm. and I was, so I would spend like like 30 minutes or an hour mm -hmm. just typing it up and then rereading it a gazillion times to make sure I didn't get any typos. Yeah. <laughs> and I'd send it out and then they'd text me like, hey, you messed up on this part. And I'm like, ah! ah! Like, it sucks. <laughs> yeah. um, but so that's how I got in as an officer of the, of the club, mm -hmm. and then the following year I became the president, and like yeah. it was like it was it was a lot. It's right? a lot. So, they don't they don't tell you how much work <laughs> being president of a college club is. You're like, oh, no big deal. Just give me the title. <laughs> yeah, the title's so cool though. Um, we all have different experience with with the scene. Like uh, you and I, we we. We hit the ground running, and then others, you were invited in from outside, or you mm -hmm. came in as a performer. Um, like, what are some benefits that you feel you've received by being involved in the college dance scene? Um, and then I'll start off with you again, Chris. Thanks for not skipping me. <laughs> no worries. No. We don't <laughs> skip people in this episode. <laughs> John Casey. John Casey. <laughs> The biggest benefit for being involved in a college dance scene for me right now is the fact that in a college dance scene, people are younger and more people are more likely to be my age. Um, going into a community dance scene now, um, there's a lot of great lifelong dancers. Like They're excellent and it's awesome, but it's a little intimidating when they're like 50 and you're like 22 and you're like... <laughs> I don't know you. I don't really. I don't know if I want to chat with you. Like, uh, I'm not sure if you're threatening or not. Like, it's. I mean, breaking into a new scene yeah. in general is kind of tough, and then being really young is also a little alarming. But um, so it's great when I can come back here to Cal Poly and mm -hmm. see my my dancing friends and see people who are you know within my decade. <laughs> um, but, you know, again, older dancers are great. We love them. <laughs> but as a girl, it <laughs> can be a little intimidating. Um, and I'd say the second benefit is that you get to meet, especially at like things like Slow uh, Salsa Exchange, you get to meet dancers mm -hmm. from all over. And yeah. who, you, they automatically, like I have something in common with the 300 people that I've met here this weekend. Yeah. Like every single one of us has something to talk about mm -hmm. and it's Salsa. Uh, it's great to be able to just make new friends that quickly um, and all over California. You need to go somewhere? Call the salsa buddy. Yeah. <laughs> somewhere to stay and then you go just dance salsa with. <laughs> yeah, I, um, my favorite part about being in the scene is just the friends, the friendships that you make. Um, I don't know how many people I've met just this last year alone um, that I feel are legit friends and not just straight acquaintances you know so that's probably my favorite part because i was always really shy growing up i know you might not think so now i've kind of come out of my <laughs> shell a little bit but i feel that but um i in general i've always just been kind of like a laid-back shy-ish 
person and meeting new people was always hard for me so in the dance scene that's definitely made it a lot easier mm -hmm. and I've made some really great friendships over the last mm -hmm. few years so yeah. um, that's yeah. probably my favorite part. Yeah, the friendships are great because yeah. yeah. they're the kind where it's like you could not see them for a year and then when you know that you're like hey, hey what's, up? what's up and it's because like, like, like yeah. last week um, yeah. or uh, sometimes it's like I remember you but I don't remember your name yeah give me a hug anyway it's like right? hey <laughs> You, I like you. <laughs> but yeah, like I haven't seen you, Rami, in a year. Yeah, I think we only see each other here. Maybe once. Maybe you came really? to a, a, a Friday night once, but other than that. Oh yeah, yeah. I came here with Andrew Nova yeah. Koja from uh, SB. You did good right. times. Yeah, those were good. Times. But that was like nine months ago. <laughs> so. Over nine months. Wait, what? Ten I months. Even, I don't know. know. All right, we're getting out. It's been so a while, yeah. but we're friends. Yeah. And those are what we feel are really cool right now. But what are we more excited about? in the dance community moving forward? I'd say I just am always looking forward to the next time where I can be around a big group of dancers. I think I'm going to start uh, going dancing in San Francisco and I nice. met a lot of people here this weekend who are in the Bay Area and make that possible because again, you need a buddy to go salsa <laughs> at this age. So uh, finding my buddies has been yeah. really exciting. It makes me excited about it. Nice. Well, you don't, you don't even have to have friends in the Bay Area to go yeah. in the Bay Area. Um, Sacramento Davis people be driving out there all the time. Every yeah, week. We drive, we drive out there all the time. Like yeah. even yeah. tomorrow night, he's planning to go dance at Hugh uh, in San Francisco. Yeah, going to have a chat tonight. Cool. Yeah. I'm excited about growing the Sacramento community and the Davis community in general because it's really because everyone knows each other so much because it's so small. I'm hoping that it grows bigger like I want people to want to come out to Sacramento to come dancing you know everyone wants to come to the Bay Area because it's, it's more convenient it's a lot of dancers out there there's great a whole bunch of clubs out there but you know not so much Sacramento it's really small so I mean it's a small town in general but you know I, I'm, I'm just looking forward to getting more people from Sacramento to get started and come out. So yeah. that's what I want. That'd be great. You should lead the new wave, bro. Let's do it. Let's <laughs> do oh, it. The there it is. <laughs> How are you? Ready? The main thing that I'm excited about is being able to meet new dancers all the time I go to the, every time I go to those events. I'm most excited about seeing continual growth and then seeing the next new dancer like kick my ass on the dance floor. 